Uh, hello everyone, in this video I'm going to take a, a bit of a look at uh, writing a document in Markdown. Uh, now if you don't know what Markdown is, Markdown is a pretty light and pretty simple markup language uh, made some time ago. Um, details aren't really terribly relevant, but uh, Markdown's main features are that it's a pretty simple markup language to learn and to really understand and it's a pretty readable language um so of course it's a great language and i found this piece of software known as pandoc right great piece of software and it's amazing in that it takes markdown and it can export it to various different formats including uh bib bib text uh epub docs for all of you uh weird people who use microsoft office odt org, a vim wiki, pdf, a bunch of really a bunch of file types. Um, I think it can also export to uh, LaTeX if yeah, yeah, it can export to LaTeX. So if you're into that kind of thing, um, yeah, this is a great piece of software. But anyway, to get uh, started, uh, we'll I'll go over a bit, a bit. I'll go over a bit of the basic syntax. So um, headings, uh, you just Put a pound sign, then a space. Uh, you need to have that space in order to have a heading. Um, you can have, uh, you know, second level headings. So, and you can have uh, third headings, I think. And so, um, that's kind of your basic syntax for headings. I think you can also do them as uh, a bunch of equal signs. Yeah, I think you can do them and uh, a bunch of. Uh, no, sorry a bunch of uh i think dashes underneath yeah so this is like your main heading this is your subheading um not sure how to do it else because i'm more used to the pound sign but those are kind of your basic styles of heading and then like uh here is text here is some more text so that's kind of you know your your basic text now you can also have emphasis so um for italic text you can have you know you put a uh, asterisk uh, this text is italic right so that's your uh, italic text and then if you want bold text you just do two asterisks so this text is bold so that's kind of some of the basic markup i think you can also do underlines for uh, uh, uh underline i think that's how it is i can't totally remember um but yeah so also uh, markdown has uh ordered and unordered lists so um any of the basic characters for lists are a star with a space a dash with a space a plus and a plus with a space these are all valid uh, list items so um you know item uh item and uh, item so that's kind of your list you can also nest list items so as long as it's you know aligned with the first character of the previous list space you can have like a sub item and then uh, another sub I can't type today uh, another sub item so that's how the uh, unordered list ordered lists are just one dot space Oh, well number dot space and then um you know your item so we have our first item in our loader list our second item our third item and uh so on and so forth now um another thing you can do with uh markdown is uh, code blocks now uh, you may not really need this in like a formal document or whatnot but if you do a back tick that is uh, uh this is a line of code well uh, more like inline uh inline line of code but um yeah so that is um your uh code block you i th you can also do uh, a set of uh, back text for um, a block of, of code you gotta you know just whatever you put there and whatnot so that's kind of your inline block of code pandoc 
also has a bunch of tildes as a block of code. So this is, you know, another block of code as long as, you know, both uh, said lines on the top are about of equal length, you will get a code block from this. Um, and then also block quotes. So um, if you want to like have indented text to emphasize something, you just type um, a right angle bracket and you can uh, uh, put in your text. So this is our block quote, uh, another one, another one. So now I can't spell today either apparently. So that's your block quotes. Um, I think you can also lazily do them. I'm not sure of the specifics in syntax, um, but yeah. So, and then, uh, you know, a final note, uh, you can also add metadata to the top of a document. So um, this is uh, anything, so you can have, and it's, so all the metadata in the top of the document is formatted in YAML. So uh, title, uh, you can have title, author. There's a few other options that I can't remember off the top of my head, but uh, you do title dash space, and then we can say this is a sample document, right? Uh, I can't capitalize either today. So you can also do an author. Uh, and let's say uh, the man for our author. I don't know, just because why not? And then, you know, uh, three dashes. So um, that's kind of the basic uh, syntax for uh, Markdown as really, um, there's a bit of more special formatting when it comes to Pandoc, but I'm not really gonna delve too deep into that because that's a topic for another video. So um, anyway, if we exit, so are we invoke with uh, the command with pandoc. Now um, we want to give it an input file so we can give it syntax.md and there are uh, four flags that we're majorly interested in. One, our first flag is our dash f flag. So this is our format flag. So think of this as kind of our input uh, format. So what do we want as input? Well, um, it supports a bunch, but uh, markdown is one of them. So dash f markdown will just tell pandoc, oh, hey, we're piping in a markdown file. And so then next you have, um, uh, you know, dash o, which is your output file. So we can just say, I don't know, uh, test.pdf. And execute that pandoc will run and it will compile so uh, we can open up test.pdf and as you see we have a bunch of stuff uh, apparently under those underlines do uh, weird things so that wasn't expected but um so yeah this is our uh, tilde block of code you can see all of our headings different headings here's text more text italics, bolds, underlines, there's that metadata at the top and it's still miscapitalized, oops. You have all of list items, you have sub items, uh, all of our blocks of code and then, uh, you know, block quotes. So that's kind of a basic um, rundown of some basic uh, commands with uh, some basic formatting with pandoc and using it. Of course, uh, when we open that, we can see that the margins are a bit too big, like they're a bit too big for my liking. So, for my liking. So, what we can do is we can pass in the capital V option, which is a uh, key. Uh, more or less, it allows you to specify different variables within uh, your compilation. So, we can do geometry and then colon and then whatever we want so uh, margin equals one inch so now if we run that it'll spit us out a file and we can see that those margins have now reduced considerably in size so there are a few other things about uh, pandoc that make it really great and that are extensions now pandoc markdown has a lot more extra built-in features than um you know, standard markdown or various other flavors of markdown like GitHub markdown, some other particular sites, I think like Reddit and certain other like forums, I don't know. 
general uh, general stock markdown uh, don't have a lot of these extra features that you may take for granted so um, for starters I have a, a sample document here uh, it has a bunch of boilerplate uh, text so um, you know we can quickly add in uh, numbered list items here maybe you no know, Add in a list there, and so there are a few uh, neat extensions that uh, Pandoc has that I want to cover in this video because there's a lot of them um, in uh, the Pandoc manual that you can find online. There are a lot of different uh, extensions, but I'm going to go over three, and the first one is uh, line block extensions. Now, this normally doesn't work in uh, Mark normal markdown but when you put a pipe character down it allows it uh, pretty much acts as an escape sequence almost for uh, white space so I could have you know a pipe there and then you know uh, another pipe here add some white space and pretty much what it does is anything in front of it that's white space it preserves that and then parses the rest as just standard markdown so if we want to uh, uh, we want to throw pandoc into that we can uh, put in that doc and we'll give it that v slash u slash b geometry we'll give it that uh, that option for uh, margins. So if we do the dash F option, now probably the completion already shows it, but we can do markdown, right? But we can also add an extension. So in that user manual for uh, Pandoc, there is a bunch of extensions. Now, if you want to uh, enable an extension, you can do a plus and then the name of the extension. Or if you want to disable it, you can also do minus. But for now, we just want to have you know our normal line blocks, and we want to add that. So we can now co compile that and view it. And now you can see that white space was preserved. So uh, the next extension I want to go over is uh, pipe tables. So if you are familiar with uh, GitHub's uh, syntax for writing tables, right? I'm just gonna delete all of this here. If you are familiar with uh, GitHub's method of making tables, right? You specify like, uh, you know, like a topic, then you pipe it, topic, pipe it, put a pipe and then topic, and then you leave nothing there. And then you put dashes and then a pipe dashes and then a pipe dashes and then you know it ends now uh, what this allows you to do is say we want to put like a bunch of different things here right like two three right and then we want to go to another line and do like a b and c and like a item 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 right so we have a bunch of that there right so this is a basic format for a table so what we can do is in when we do compiling we can instead par um, pass in the uh, pipe underscore tables extension and we compile that and suddenly we get a nice, fancy, good looking formatted table. Um, it's, it may not be the table that everyone likes, but it's organized, it's in the center, and it generally looks pretty nice. And then the third and last one that I really quickly wanna go over before um, I end this video is uh, all the uh, backsplash escapes. Now this may be useful if you want to say, you know, uh, display a symbol like uh, like a star symbol, right? And you want to display a star. But of course that's, you know, like, like some uh, 
stars symbols right and suddenly now you have like a bold formatting well what this allows you to do is pass in escape sequences right so that you can um, keep those and preserve those symbols or like say I want a pound sign at the beginning uh, no this is a pound sign right we could do that so if we go back into our compiler option you know back into that command we can pass in the all underscore symbols underscore escapable uh, option right so we can compile that and now we open it and as you can see all of those items are escaped now if we uh open up uh that document again right we can see that with markdown you know the, that, that, that pound sign has to be at the beginning of a line for it to work as a header but since we've escaped it it doesn't appear in here at all and all of those four asterisks are also fully escaped as well so that's a bit of a overview over pandoc uh, i hope you enjoy uh, see you in the next video